The last piece of scientific vocabulary that I want to talk about is the term model. What is a model in science? In many ways, this term breaks the pattern for this course because there isn't a clear epistemically loaded usage for the term. So it's harder to know where to place it on our scale of degrees of epistemic support, or even how to clearly distinguish the loaded and neutral uses of the term. When you call something a model, is there a specific use where you're implying that it's well supported by the evidence or not well supported? I don't think so, at least not in the way that we see with other terms like theory and law and hypothesis. I think it's more accurate to say that the term model has a set of epistemically neutral uses that suggest a different way of thinking about epistemic support, uh, about what it means for a model to be good or bad because models are supposed to be different from the things that they're used to represent. There's a difference between a model and the thing being modeled, and that difference has more to do with concepts like abstraction and idealization and simplification and the usefulness of representing systems in this way. It's these concepts we need to understand to understand the role of models in science. Actually, I think there's a similarity between models and other terms that we've looked at, like hypotheses and theories, and how the terms acquire their meaning. In the videos on hypotheses, for example, that we just covered, I argued that the neutral sense of hypothesis picks up its meaning from the role that the concept plays in the practice of hypothesis testing, in a certain pattern of scientific reasoning. Similarly, I think the meaning of the term model is best defined by the role that the concept plays in a certain practice of scientific reasoning about the world that essentially involves reasoning by analogy and by abstraction. Once you understand this style of reasoning, you will understand what a model is in science. So that's how I'm going to approach this task of unpacking the meaning of the term model. Uh, we'll start with a quick tour of some examples to stimulate our thinking, and then we'll talk about reasoning by analogy and reasoning by abstraction.